Hundreds of people protested in Suriname against rising living costs, clashing with security forces in the capital Paramaribo and looting shops in the city center. The government, in a statement, cited reports that the National Assembly had been forcibly entered, causing destruction, though it did not provide details. Protesters chanted slogans against rising prices for food, petrol and electricity, and accused the government of corruption. Chan, out. They shouted, referring to President Chan Santoki whom they blamed for galloping inflation and an enormous foreign debt. While promising further security reinforcement, Santoki also indicated that he was open to dialogue with the protesters. Some threw bottles and stones at police, who replied with tear gas and fired rubber bullets. With a weak currency and ever-worsening economic crisis, the South American nation's 600,000 people are finding it more and more difficult to make ends meet. The government, meanwhile, has plans to eliminate subsidies for electricity, gas and other essentials in line with IMF-required spending cuts. In January, it replaced a 12% sales tax with a value-added tax of 10%, saying prices would not increase though consumers report that they have. In the statement, the government said it, condemns the destruction committed today in the most serious terms, and promised vigorous action against those involved.